Greetings, Jedi traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for week 18. It is day three, May 3rd, 2017. Hey guys, as always, please seek financial advisement when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only to support your knowledge in the market. See what's going through my head on any given day. Hey, you always have a solid trading plan. Make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, Jedi traders, welcome, welcome to the daily trend. We'll, we'll go ahead, take a look at the uh, key futures markets as I see them every day in the trading room, as well as possible trend setups today and where the market uh, is leaning towards at this point with current news pieces coming up and what you might want to be aware of. All right, let's uh, get right into the session recap. As we can see, it was all about the FOMC. That's right, FOMC, big FOMC announcement today, which was pretty much a non-event as Monday price action really trending up here on uh Tuesday, Wednesday, chopping all around, and hey, with the rest of the week still looming ahead, be ready for either direction as consolidation seems to be the name of the game at this point. So here we go. Price action on the GC and the uh, 6J actually selling off today. We'll take a look at those charts here in a little bit. VIX closing out, still at the lows as we poke below that 10, hitting in the nines uh, this week. Core sector list 50-50 pretty much across the board. There's some of your econ highlights for the day. With a couple news pieces out there. Always check out the pre-market trend outlook. It's posted right here, 15 minutes prior to the market open based on the Globex overnight MML. Those are the Murray Math Level charts and where we are currently in trend and how you can use that in combination with the HA bars, the HA Why bars, Heikinashi sure. bars. There they are in trend from one level up to another. Yep, that's picture perfect. Markets don't always look like that. Drop the time frame down, you might even get a better setup, especially on low volume days like today. All right, so there it is. Overall indices trend, chop, drop, and mild pop towards the end of the close. Some of the indices looking better. Some of the other markets actually looking better. All right, let's jump into the market internals. Nice balance profile here on the volume profile. You can see the VPOC, 70% of today's range. So a good, healthy profile, not much to repair on here. Yep, we still have that upper portion. At some point, the market needs to get up and repair, build some value in there. But yes, looking good, looking good, looking good, which means, yep, that's right, consolidation, big doji bar on the daily as we hold underneath the weekly. Still all-time highs up here on the turquoise. NQ continues to... Uh, flatter itself with hanging out at these new all-time high, second all-time high uh, of the week posted up here. So kind of still consolidating at the highs here. NQ, what I bring this chart up, note the open gaps down below. Some point, the catalyst might be, it could be non-farm payrolls, it could be French elections on Sunday, it could be someone sneezed in the White House next Wednesday and the market will drop. There is no reason, just when the market big players are ready to come down, you need to be ready in both directions. So there it is. There are your daily gaps. Make sure they're noted on the chart. And we sit in consolidation, which means breakout at some point. AD lines across the board sometimes tell that story. It's one of the market internals that I follow from the shadow trader. Uh, here, version on Sierra charts. Again, AD lines, advancers minus the decliners. And ISS Nicey came down this morning. That's where market trend ended up dropping as we saw there and a little pop here towards the afternoon They're always looking for that low of the day isn't that the 64 million dollar question for all of us so could it be an outlier of the ad line sure looks like it almost near that negative 70 today again es uh, s p not reaching down towards those lows but hey we got usually we usually have a range here nothing of significance here today other than we can see very uh, not many extreme moves pretty much across the board. So what set up the, the AM session moves on the NQ today for the best, and then we'll follow through on the others. Let's start with the market internal here. Let's jump into the quad. One of the quad picks uh, is the tick count. Again, this is a modified version, but you've seen maybe perhaps the cumulative tick index. That's uh, a study out there. 
through the shadow trader great analysis on market profile but here you can see the overall tick for the day was to the downside what does that mean that means the majority of the tick on this is a five minute bar five minute bars meaning that the majority of the tick here for the session was below this zero when you take it to these bars and you evaluate above and below zero where did most of the tick count fall well most of the contracts traded were to the downside so that's First indicator, even though the NQ got a nice little lift there in the PM session, it doesn't mean you can't trade both directions. But the overall sense today where the best moves today was on the downside on the NQ. And there you go. Cumulative tick index, one sign. You had your AD lines, which again, towards the afternoon, pretty much slid out. You have AD lines coming down. You also here on a watch list that I have here on the Thinkorswim platform, Watching Facebook, the big stocks that represent 40 to almost 50% of the NASDAQ there, they were all mostly in the red. Google and eventually Starbucks coming into the green. Google was the only one in the green today. So there you got, you have your, you have the majority of the NASDAQ stocks to where? You got them to the downside. You have your what? AD line downside. You have your cumulative, cumulative tick index downside. And you got yourself a nice, nice setup there on the NQ to this morning. So market open price action breaks underneath the cloud there's your setup to the downside t35 slope downside 534 in sync you have a small pullback maybe trade management took you out highest probability trend set up when everything in sync there it is now you might be dealing with the globex low at this point that was one of the reasons for maybe stalling out here and not taking an entry waiting until it passed by and if you got in on the trade you got yourself at least a solid setup and then once post 90 minutes a pullback who knows? Somebody wanted to add to their position and doesn't matter. Overall resistance, 50 EMA here, 144 on the 5144 cloud. We're talking about the highest probability setup here. Again, looking for Heikinashi candles underneath the cloud. The AJ bar is indicating to us that we are in trend. And then once price action runs down to the Euro close, we get our last setup. Throw in the MML, the Murray Math level, and what do you have? That's right. Now, not the highest probability setup coming from up here. What do I want to see? I usually want to see all three in the red, but this is a good start of a trend. Right here, solid body tail down. I'm not talking about the first candle. At least a couple candles indicating a trend. You have your 534 from the market open. If you got on the trend, you're able to manage it at least down here. This should be far enough away from your entry. If not, you might have been stopped out. Let trade management supersede any trend because I don't want you losing any ticks. But if you were able to sit in this and you had your stop in an appropriate place to let you run it all the way down, price action eventually, and always good to front run a target as it managed its way down. So again, another opportunity to re-enter to the downside. But again, overall trend on the NQ. And that was about it for the AM session as the NQ pretty much chopped out the rest of the afternoon. Probably gave some ticks back if you... Uh, Played in the PM session. Again, not everything in sync here. NQ, not a bad move here in the afternoon as the uh, market played itself out. Okay. Uh, ES uh, full session, not too bad. Again, nice move downside. A little bit of choppy at first, uh, but better than the NQ, making some lower uh, highs and higher lows. Price action, deeper pullbacks, not easy to stay in. And uh, price action makes its way back upside on the ES today as the YM price action, about the smoothest of all the uh, indices here. Price action, again, downside, not the highest probably set up, probably a little bit better up here. Bailed out, you got another uh, setup up here. Break above the open, there's your open close. You can see not a very big gap, but again, we're pretty much waiting on FOMC here this afternoon and the NQ waiting on that uh, Facebook earnings as well, which didn't mean much of an event either. So what were the trends of the day? No, there it is. Take a look at the GC, gold, very nice move, market open, downside, hiking Ashibar, solid bodies, tails down, pullback, if you're able to stay on the trend, underneath the 5144, another opportunity to be in, or you bail, price action takes you out, nice move to the upside, you got all the charts in sync, break above the cloud, very flat cloud, flat cloud I might say, but price action lifted, the slope of the T35 back down underneath the cloud, Highest probability setup, even with those two small pullbacks underneath the 5144. Keep it simple on the charge, Jedi traders. You'll do a much better.
All right, let's uh, jump into where we are currently on the, the big picture as we post here each morning. Remember, the uh, take a look here at the ES. Again, this is the morning shot on the pre-market trend. You want to take a look at, get the big picture in your mind. Where are we currently based on MMLs? These are overlays, four-hour, 60-minute daily and weekly so give you an area of consolidation uh, confluence we could see here that was our morning move and take a look at the five minute chart as the five minute mml that's right the five minute mml intraday is my chart of choice if i'm going to the overnight i always want to make sure i'm on the one minute and i want to drop my time frame also in a market that has lower volume you want to make sure that you are also on a lower time frame so for instance the nq could be Go from a 10.7 to a 5.4 flex Renko. All right, so here we are currently as market action uh, finishes up here today. Market now closed for an hour recess. Price action again, there it is, dropping on the ES down to the 10 EMA uh, here uh, today. So that was of significance. We I did mention that here in the pre-market trend. We find support on the hourly as well and lift back upside. So you might have wanted to consider that these might have been the lows of the session if we got down anywhere near here. Combine it with the MML. Now again, we didn't uh, hit that MML low today, five minutes. So, you know, it might not have been exactly a trend from up all the way down. So ES, you could have also done exactly what I'm ready to show you here. And that's gone to like a one minute chart. So here we are on the five minute chart. This is the five minute, uh, this is the typical five four flex Renko that we look at every day. This would be an MML overlay from a five minute chart. Now watch what happens when we go ahead and change this to a one minute chart. We go back to our regular chart. Now all of a sudden this one minute chart again will most likely reset itself during the day. But now here you can see in the PM session on the FOMC, you can get an entry off the MML lows here. Very manageable. This one started here around 220 to, I'm sorry, to about 240 and ran up to the other MML high, giving you a nice ES trade uh, there in the PM session. Again, uh, other markets, uh, we could have tried uh, the NQ. Again, NQ, I would have uh, stayed on a five minute here. Let's go to the uh, higher time frame. Let's go to the 10.7. All right, so there's our NQ, and here we are in the PM session. There was our biggest MML moves of the session here from the MML high, right around here. We mentioned that before on the other chart. Market action worked its way down, just missing its shy, and then price action uh, back upside. Again, looking for that highest probability setups where everything in sync. I have the cloud. I have the, uh, let's see if we had that picture here. Let's go to that post 90 minute. There it is. So everything in sync as much as possible. We got the cloud, solid hike and Ashi bars downside. We have as many of the uh, other studies that we watched, the 534 and the 5140, 5144 in sync. That's the optimal setup. All right. Uh, so Jedi traders, as we uh, go into the Globex session, uh, there's our current levels. Again, bigger picture. We're watching upside. Again, we got that all time high still Holding up there, anything downside, we're going to have to break uh, the support to resistance levels on a multiple variety of levels and then clear out some of those open gaps that we have down here on both the ES, the YM, and the NQ. Taking a look at the NQ, also uh, managing to get up here. That was yesterday up to the overbought on the 60-minute chart. We're holding in the 60-minute range, a couple of levels of resistance down here. Watching for the pullback to around 55.86. Uh, that would put at least close us out of the one gap, the next uh, open gap downside at 55.12, which would drop us below the 10 EMA, losing that support. So watch uh, as the 10 EMA and support here at 55.66. Anything worse this week, uh, we're going to get down to the major support on the 4-hour and the 50 SMA. So there's our five minute again, nice trending session from one MML to another. You could have dropped to a lower time frame. And on a 5.4 flex Renko, let me go ahead and pull that up because that was one of the uh, one of the charts uh, one of our intraday traders was watching. So there you are. And then uh, I would take the MML and drop it down to a one or two minute chart, which would be fine. And there you go. A little bit of a much better sweet trending session as uh, we finish out the day on the lows. But here you go. 5.4 flex Renko. 
from up to down. Price action uh, lifts back up. Get a little piece up at least of the major support resistance. Comes back down, and you got yourself uh, at least a 51.44, 55.34 in sync. That's the second row here. And you got yourself, note, the uh, yellow uh, indicators here are indicating that I have two studies out of three studies uh, in sync. Pretty good uh, probability of 66% there that price action will follow through. Again, not 100% guarantee. All right, as we roll into tonight, let's go ahead and take a look where the one-minute charts are. Globex session, you'll want to watch the NQ here as uh, one minute's most likely going to reset here. Anything upside, look uh, back up to major support resistance. We are holding underneath the 534. So right now, current momentum is to the downside on the NQ. We'll watch on the reset as uh, midnight open comes. And uh, if anything uh, resets on the MML, you want to watch the upper levels and anything downside as well as we saw here on the NQ five-minute chart down here, 5605 to 98. Taking a look at the ES price action again, MML highs here. We ran upside on a one minute, a one to two minute chart. Here's a two minute chart. Drop down one minute chart. ES again, both ranges upside. Through on 23.85 up here, downside to 23.79.50. And finally, look at, at the YM price action. Uh, there's your levels, 8.98 upside and 8.59 to the downside. I forgot to uh, show you that. Uh, 6J, 6J Euro, uh, 6J Yen, I apologize. Nice trending chart here as the gold uh, made its move downside. A couple of pockets of opportunity on the end to the downside with all charts and see. Look for that highest probability setup and you'll be okay. Anything else carries a higher risk. Not always a winner. There are losses in the market. All right, Jedi traders, uh, looking ahead to tomorrow economic calendar. We're headed into a couple Red Star events, including jobless claims, T-bills, et cetera, et cetera. Off to Friday, non-farm payrolls. That might be the move uh, we're looking ahead to. Uh, markets, uh, there's a lot of consensus on both sides, but if uh, it doesn't uh, follow through, we might just need, that might just be the catalyst for us to pull back, maybe close out some of those open gaps for the week. All right, Jedi traders, that concludes today's recap on the key futures markets and indices as I watch them here in the trading room every day. Feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com. You can check out uh, the charts and information or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My trading mantra, as I showed you here, one simple strategy, one chart. Any time frame will keep you disciplined. And you can find me every day on Twitter, at Twitter, where you can find my intraday tweets and charts in time with the real live trading room. I simply leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only watch what's in front of me and on my charts, and I leave my bias at the door when trading. Hey, Jedi Traders, if you're interested in joining us any Thursday or Friday with our community of like-minded traders, feel free to email me, david at tradingfibs.com, where you can join us and see if there are any potential high probability setups on that given session. No guarantees. Hey guys, have yourselves a Blue Zone Day wherever you may be. If I've forgotten any charts, I'm sure I'll post them out there on my Twitter feed. Until tomorrow, have yourselves a good day, a good night, and good trading to you.